Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and today we are going to be talking about building powered doors. And there's a couple of different ones we have, so let's just uh, do this. Alright guys, in the previous episodes I built this up using the shape menu, and then I built some farms on the top. So if you want to go check those out, please do. And uh, yeah, today we need to do a little bit of expansion if we want to use some of the doors, because we don't have a garage over here, and uh, that, you know, is something we would like. Okay, so over here, uh, first let's just hop over into creative menu here. If we go to powered, you can see that there is a book for the schematics for all these things. And you get these reinforced drawbridge and the door hatch, industrial door, and this vault. So what you can do from here is we can just, you know, put that all down. I need to put down a power system, so I'm going to use a battery bank. Uh, I believe it's right here. So let me just install that and then I'll run some power. All right guys, so what I'm probably going to do is eventually put in some solar panels up here, but for now this battery bank will work fine. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is gonna throw up one of these hatches here. So boom, like that. Now what's the difference between in actually making these things? Because you know I've never done it yet, so Here's the powered one. It seems to have this thing here, which of course comes from this powered doors bridge schematics, I believe. Let's double check. Use that. And yes, that is correct. So we're going to need to have a workbench at the stage to get this done. And uh, looks like a crucible for forge. I'm going to wrench a bunch of stuff to get all these different parts and springs, uh, cars, uh, all the stuff that you, know, that you generally would use to get those things. So yeah, find those and then use these numbers to build them. Uh, double check because you never know, this is an experimental version, so just check it out. All right, so let's wire this in. Uh, right click, and right click, and it just apparently automatically opens. So this particular one, um, I'm not quite sure the best setup for this. I mean, I think what you would probably do is like get a, a sensor going on maybe or some of these plates. And um, I suppose you would do it like that. So yeah, I guess you probably, you know, use this and then you'd be able to read that. And then I think in my case, I'm probably gonna have to put this. No, that should work. We'll put one there just for this one and we'll put some more downstairs when we get to there. And for that, you're just going to have to rewire this to that, to this. And now it's closed and powered it and it triggers. So we step on it and bam, opens up. Sweet. Automatically closes. Oh, that is good times. Now just double checking. I don't seem to be able to get this to open without power. So consider that. Uh, we'll double check that on some of these other things here. Okay, so now we just dropped in that door right there. That should be pretty good. I'll probably put a vault door on my bathroom here, you know. I don't want anything nasty coming in when I'm in there. But yes, we are totally trapped in here. So let's rig up some kind of system here to I guess open the door automatically for us. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using one of these guys because well you never know. So let me just wire this sucker in here. All right so I'm gonna wire that one I guess over to you. Somehow it's opened. I don't even know that it has power because I'm pretty sure I just connected it to that, but that doesn't have power. Can we just use anyone? Let's see here. If we just take this uh, over to that, that will not work. Okay, great. Good to know. Um, so we take you, run you to the sensor, and the sensor to this. Well, obviously, we still need to wire it in. So let's get that done. Oh, no. So you're going to have to really figure this out. But so it really does seem like powered ones are 
more for allowing um, like a more secure base. So that is kind of interesting. Probably put some bars over this because you can definitely squeak through. Connect. Connect. Nope, don't really, really want to do that. Can't get down there because of this thing here. Oh, and the door is open because I believe it can see me. Perfect. So, like I said, you don't want to be just tooling around down there with your door automatically opening up. That would be bad. Uh, same with doing something like this. Uh, it would be also, well, bad. Uh, to do this one, you'd have to start off on the inside, apparently. So, just take a lot of uh, heed when you're trying to rig this entire system up. We should definitely adjust your uh, sensor here. To do that, you just click on your camera preview and aim it down. We really just want it to be right in front of the door here. It does not need to be watching anybody on the toilet. That's just not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, so take you and you. Good. Now then, let's head outside and build something bigger. That works. This one has not been rigged into the door itself. And I don't know if this is going to have more than one parent. My guess is probably not. So it's closed. Good. It can have more than one parent opening it. Cool. Great. That is perfect. Um, yeah, so let me just build up a little bit of a test structure here. Okay, guys. So I've uh, put a bunch of more time into this, and now we have this here, which is the reinforced drawbridge that is powered. So once again, it uh, requires a ton of wood, a bunch of forged iron, and a bunch of just parts that you find around. So once you craft that in your workbench, um, you just, uh, yeah, get that built, and that's how you do it. So that's where you can find it. Also, yeah, it's easy to find. Well, maybe not easy to find, but you can find the schematic. So once you have it a home, you put that sucker in. All right. Obviously, my home wasn't quite big enough for this one, but we'll uh, figure that out more in the future here. So let's wire that one in. So just take the power from there. Uh, I'm going to run it to there, to the sensor, to the door, and hopefully we'll up. The power didn't go from here to there. There we go. So yeah, there it goes. The door is now down. If we were to leave that thing's field of view, it goes back up. Kind of bugging me how big it is now and how small my prepared hole is. So apparently we need to have another one put in. Okay, the next door we're going to do... Whoa! Interesting, interesting. So always be careful with where you're setting your sensors and such. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was thinking one of these ones we'll put in here. Um, that may not actually work very well. We'll put that one back there. And we'll put this powered one right here. I think this one's going to be big enough. Wow, that's, that's a big door. Okay, then. Uh, I'm just going to knock out this wall here. Perfect. Ooh, that's a big one. Over. Yeah, and that's... There it is. Okay. For that one, I was thinking uh, maybe we want to put in this guy here. There it goes. And so, yeah, we just need to, once again, run some power to it. However you want to really do that. Take that guy down to there. This one over to the door. Boom. Opens. Closes. And, of course, you probably want one to get out. Unless you just want to make traps for people, I guess. <laughs> they don't really know how the mechanics work yet. That'll get them. 
with this one. Let's wire it in. Uh, I was thinking maybe just like a nice little switch would be nice. Um, yeah, let's put the switch here. I mean, it's going to be like the wiring is pretty terrible, but you know, whatever. Over to there. <laughs> That's really bad wiring. And there it goes. Open or close. I kind of like that. Maybe the best so far. Because it, yeah, kind of nice, nicely stays open. Okay. I believe that is all the powered doors, and we've rigged them in with various sensors and whatnot. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go throw in my uh, wood stove in this place. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to stay informed about more 7 Days to Die tutorials and playthroughs, I'm probably going to be focusing quite a bit on tutorials this alpha. But we're going to keep on building things. So stay tuned. Hit that follow button. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. I've got to figure out how I'm going to rig up uh, some of these doors. I think a switch actually is quite, quite good for getting back up and down some of these here doors, I think. Anyhow, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys. Okay. So yeah, that seems to be a pretty good way. It'll just uh, seems like both of them have to be green for it to open. So that is interesting. That one's green. We'll close that guy. And um, so yeah, maybe we'll have to put a switch like down there. Maybe I can switch it off from down here. No. Well, good to know. Bye bye, guys.